Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk, and today I am going to film a book haul. It's been a little while since I filmed one, I said it would be longer. I have a weakness. I have like at least half a dozen here, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. Firstly, I have Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. This is like the first Maddox Brothers, which is like a spin-off of the Beautiful Disaster series, which I love. Next book I got is Home by Clementine Von Raddix. This is a collection of poetry. You know I love my poetry. I make a video about how much I love it every single month. And I quite liked this one. I'm gonna do a book talk up on this one really soon, but I just wanna reread the last like little section of poems because I read it really late at night and I feel like I didn't quite absorb it like I should. But yeah, a uh, book talk should be up on this quite soon. Kubatan is my favorite modern poet. Like, pff, hands down, love her. This one was a gift, so thank you Melissa for this. She is the author and this is Coffee Without the Sugar by Melissa Ramirez. I just love what I've read so far. I haven't quite finished it, but it was notable enough for me to actually include it into my favorites, which says a lot. I think my favorite is the first poem in the book, uh, Coffee Without the Sugar. So I'm just, two lines, that's it, just two lines. But love can also be bitter, like coffee without the sugar. Just a little hint, hint, pick up, pick up. Um, this isn't on Goodreads, but I'm a librarian on Goodreads. So I'm gonna be talking to Melissa and be like, hey, so I'm gonna make this a thing so I can tell people that I read it because I like it. If you guys have been watching my random favorites every month, you know I've been obsessed with Dexter. So it was only appropriate that I read the book, right? Right? So I got Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. I have a friend that read it. She says the series is definitely better, like the TV series is much better. But I read a chunk of this while I was in the store before I actually purchased it. And I'm like, even though Dexter is going to be much different of a character and Deb, I heard, is like practically not even the same at all. But I'm like, I, I want to give it a shot, and I'm having like withdrawals, I missed the series. I'm actually going to rewatch the first season with my brother, but... So I picked this up along with, what's this one called? Starkly Devoted Dexter. This is the second one in the series. I only picked up two of them, because um, I'm just going to see how the rest of it all goes. And I had like a coupon where I can get one for half off. But I just, I really did, I loved the TV series. Not that I'm expecting the books to be the same, but just that... I don't know. I miss Dexter so much. Even if he's not the same and he's more like a sociopath in the book series, I'm giving it a shot because I love my Dexter. Speaking of serial killers, I picked up my very first Stephen King novel, Mr. Mercedes. I'm obsessed with the cover. Do you see this? And in the back, it reminded me of the ice truck killer from Dexter because I was just talking about Dexter. In a mega stakes, high suspense race against time, three unlikely and winning heroes try to stop a crazy killer from blowing up thousands. Mmm. I really love thrillers. I've heard so much hype about Stephen King. I mean, who hasn't? And I didn't know what book to start off with. I don't know if this should be the one I start off with, but it looked really interesting and it was on sale and I want to try out some Stephen King stuff. So if you love Stephen King and you'd recommend a book before reading this one of his, I'm totally open to that too. Via John Green's recommendation, and I take his opinion quite high, that's not the, I regard high something that I'm, there, there's a saying, I know it. Anyway, John Green talked about this, he recommended it, I bought it, because I trust his opinion, and it is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, I, a bunch of booktubers did like a group review type of thing, like Poland Bananas and Jesse the Reader, I think. There are so many others, I think Bookables did as well. So many people, I uh, can't, can't even keep track, I think Ariel Blissett did it too, but it looks really interesting, it's not necessarily something I would normally read, but I thought it would be a good summer read, like less intense. And then I got a cookbook, which you guys don't want to know about. So that is all in the way of the book haul, and check out my random favorites and my poetry favorites, both of which I talked about quite a lot in this. I also should have a review up for Beautiful Oblivion, so look forward to that. If it isn't already up, if it is, it's down there in the description, all linked and pretty and ready for you to click upon. So I'll see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.